in our Bible passage today that you will be looking at, Jesus starts by praying. He goes and he prays to God. Now, what does it mean to pray? What's that about? Well, praying is talking to God. It's coming to God and telling God what's exciting, where we're having trouble, perhaps even asking God for advice. I do that often. And I, I can't figure something out, so I pray, and, and God gives me an answer. It, it's kind of quiet. He doesn't really talk to me, per se. What happens is suddenly I have an answer in my head. There's clarity. I understand what God's asking me to do or telling me I should do. So praying, Jesus goes by himself and he prays. He talks to God. And then after that, he starts to teach this whole big group of people that have gathered together to hear what he has to say. And he talks about some amazing stuff. Let's look at some of those things. One of the lessons that Jesus teaches us today is that darkness cannot drive out darkness. You see how dark it is? And if I get it darker, you'll even see less of me. About all you can see are my glasses, right? But just wait a minute. How do you like that? Light drives out darkness. And Jesus said, hate can't drive out hate. Only love can do that. So what he's talking about is that in our world, sometimes we get angry at somebody and we want to do something mean to them, but that doesn't help. It only helps when we try to love them in the midst of all their issues. So remember, darkness does not drive out darkness. Light is what we need. Love is what we need. So that's one of the lessons that Jesus teaches us in the lesson today that you will be looking at, and I hope you really enjoy it. Hey, kids, another thing that Jesus talks about in our lesson today is what does it mean to have a good relationship? How do you create a good relationship? And of course, as we just learned, that when there's anger, anger doesn't help. Rather, love is what can change anger into something new, into something good. Um, and darkness cannot drive out darkness. It's light. And it's the light of the love that Jesus has that helps to bring the darkness that so often is part of our world and can be very scary. But he also talks about relationships. And what is it? mean to have a relationship, and I thought maybe what we could do is look at how do you make bread. Bread is kind of the very heart of what is that we eat. Bread is a basic, basic part of every diet, not quite around the world, but in the United States and many other countries as well. So what does it take to make bread? Well, one is flour. We need flour, and here is some flour. It's whole wheat flour, very healthy, very good for you. But um, so we need to take some flour, but what can flour be? Maybe flour is listening to each other. And then it can add a little sugar. So here's my container of sugar. And add a tablespoon of sugar. Well, what is sugar? I, it's being nice to each other. What do you think about that? We'll put that down. What else does it take? It takes a little bit of salt. And maybe we could look at salt as being truthful with each other. So a little bit of salt in the bread. Okay, and then what else does it take? Well, it takes some yeast. And what could yeast be? Well, maybe yeast is curiosity. Maybe yeast is asking questions. Maybe yeast is doing things together. Maybe yeast are those things that make friendship fun. So we'll add a little yeast to our bread here. 
in. There we go, with a little bit of yeast. Um, and then what else does it take? Well, it takes some water. Yep, some water, there it is. And uh, we add that to our flour, our sugar, and all the other things that we've added here. And it takes some oil. And, and what is water? Well, water would be just the essential part of all things that we need. So water could be love because you can't live without water. And you really can't live without love, though some people might give it a try. It's not worth it, believe me. And Jesus came into the world filled with love for all of us. So I think it's really important. And some oil, which means being able to, eh, you know, not get really upset with each other, um, learning how to work through things. Oil kind of is a lubricant in friendship. It helps us work together without getting too upset. So that's all part of what Jesus is talking about when he talks about relationships. He's talking to the people about loving each other, treating each other well, being there for each other, taking time to pray, all those things. And so then we take the flour and the water and all of that, and we mix it up. And I need to add a little more flour to this one. There we go. And then as it becomes more solid and it starts to become bread, then we need, sorry, we need to knead it. And that's part of living, is working together, is not giving up. And you knead and you knead the flour, not too long, but until it turns into essentially bread. And then you've got bread. But also, when you put in caring, listening, love, taking, having patience with each other, curiosity, excitement, asking questions, and doing fun things together, then you have a relationship, just like if you put all these things into a bowl together, flour, sugar, water, yeast, oil, all those things, you get bread. And if you put compassion and care and listening and being there for each other and patience and loving each other and just doing things that are fun, having curiosity, asking questions of each other, you have a relationship. And Jesus says that's really worth having. And he says when we do that, when we don't judge each other, but when we listen to each other, when they're, we're there for each other, he said it's like taking wheat, a full measure of wheat, which is very interesting. And he says, pat it down in full because if you first pour out wheat, it's very airy, but if you pat it down, you get lots more. So what he's saying is when we live in the way that he's called us, we get to have an abundant life. And it's a wonderful, wonderful message. Anyway, that's what this Sunday's message is about. It's about praying. It's about that love is so much more effective than anger. In light of Jesus' love for us, the light of Jesus is so much more effective than letting the darkness overtake the world, and then creating relationships with each other, following all the things that Jesus has told us, compassion, listening, patience, love, curiosity, asking each other questions, doing things together, taking the time to get to know the other person, treating each other well, that's all part of creating a relationship, which is also part of creating bread. So anyway, put those together and have a great week. Why don't we pray? It's, I hate to break in in the middle of my video, oh my gosh, but I forgot to tell you, you got to put the dough, that's when you make the bread and you mix it up and everything, into the oven to bake it before it becomes bread. 
Now, I would say that is the warmth of friendship with God in the midst of it all is the same as baking because the oven is warm and it bakes the bread and the bread comes out big and beautiful and warm and yummy. And friendship, when is done right, is the same kind of thing. So the baking is part of that warmth that comes with great friendship with a family, with each other, with the love that Christ has given us. So just wanted to add that as well. Thanks. Close with a prayer. Oh God, we give you thanks for our young people. We give you thanks for their schooling. We give you thanks for their parents. We ask that you'll be with them. It's a difficult time right now in the world. Watch over them. Let them know that your love never stops. And be with them this week and all the weeks into the future with their parents and with our Sunday school teachers. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have a most wonderful week. And God bless each and every one of you. Oh, and we got this apron, my wife and I, when we went to a uh, Valentine's Day event, which was really fun, because that's part of building relationship, being there with each other, doing fun stuff as well. So anyway, have a great week, and see you next week. Bye-bye.